is your WCIA 3 forecast first. Sponsored by Matex Heating and Cooling. Thanks for staying up a little bit later to join us. We've had a beautiful sunny weekend with our temperatures today going back up in the upper 80s. We've got clear skies. Can't see anything on the roofing dog eye net uh, here looking out over State Farm Center. But it is at least uh, very nice out there for uh, possibly viewing the Perseids. As well as our temperatures too, they're very nice. As well as they're dropping into the upper 60s and lower 70s. 68 degrees in Jacksonville, 71 in Champaign, and 64 currently in Watsika. With our winds, very light as you're noticing, light and variable. So as we go through our forecast for tomorrow if you liked Saturday and Sunday you're going to like tomorrow as temperatures will be once again back in the middle 80 range all with a lot of sunshine WCI 3 news starts right now now on WCIA 3 news uh, we're just trying to be proactive buyer beware this city's mayor calls on the owner of a mall to take action to keep shoppers safe and seven years after breaking ground, a new school prepares to open its doors. How Mohammed Seymour paid for the state-of-the-art facility. Most people never even get to meet their heroes. It's Veterans Day at the State Fair. How Illinois paid respect to the families of our fallen soldiers. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 10. There were some problems with the roof. Uh, missing tiles, uh, water, rain coming in, rainwater coming in, and so forth. City leaders warn a mall in Effingham won't be safe unless the owner makes expensive repairs. Good evening, I'm Mark Maxwell. Tie is off tonight. The Effingham City Council moved last week to put pressure on the owner of the Village Square Mall. They say problems there have plagued the building over the past several years. WCIA 3's Eric Payne is live in our newsroom tonight. Eric, tonight the mayor downplayed some of those concerns. That's right. We're told that a large portion of the roof and ceiling tiles inside have been fixed now, and people inside the mall that I spoke with today say it seems like the owner is taking repairs seriously. And the mayor told me they want to send a message that they're prepared to take it to court if they need to. The intent is to take what, what is a perfectly good retail asset for the community and just make sure that it's safe. But shoppers have raised questions in the past few years as they've spotted a leaky roof, sketchy ceiling tiles, mold, and exposed electrical wires. Fire inspectors also noticed a dysfunctional fire alarm and sprinkler system this spring. We want to be very clear that uh, the Village Square Mall has not been uh, declared unsafe. Customer concerns are the reason Effingham Mayor Jeff Blumker says the city is taking action. To, to enable us to take certain uh, provisions uh, to, to make sure that the Village Square Mall stays uh, a, a safe structure. The new ordinance lets them issue a notice to the owners that if they don't address the hazards, the city can seek legal action in the county court to require them to make repairs. And we certainly hope we don't need to, to, to take any further steps and intervene uh, in, in the Village Square Mall's business. But again, uh, the, the biggest m message we want to send to the public is that Village Square Mall is a safe structure and, and a good place to do business at this time. It's good news to Olivia Stanfield, who says it might bring more shoppers in. She works at the snow cone stand across the parking lot. Because I know a lot of people think that like it's kind of a rundown mall, but like if they are making these improvements and people see that, maybe you, people will be like, oh wow, like it's not as like bad as we thought it was. She says she's heard of older adults talk about how the mall used to be years ago and wonders if some of that magic will make a return. That's something that Blumker is betting on. We're just trying to stay ahead of the curve on this. Enclosed, enclosed malls have gradually been fading out across America over the past few years. The mayor says if it comes down uh, to it, they might have to look at repurposing that spot. But he says he doesn't. it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime in the near future. Mark. All right, Eric, thank you. Also tonight, a water treatment plant gets an upgrade in Christian County. The Moequa Water Treatment Facility celebrated its opening. The plant was already up for about two months running there, but local leaders invited the community to come on out and see it for themselves today. The plant is worth about $2.5 million. You see them there cutting the ribbon. The superintendent says the new facility is able to do more to protect the water. The people in this town have for years have wanted softened water and just to get us a better quality down the road. By softening and nitrate removal is going to give us a much better quality water for down the road. The old water plant was built in the early 1900s. The water superintendent says it was outdated and needed to be replaced. Board members in one county want to look at ways to lower taxes. 
Two proposals on the table are expected to be addressed at the Effingham County Board later this week. There's a meeting there and they plan to look at consolidating school districts and, and administrative staff in the area. They're proposing combining five school districts in the county down to one. Another idea? To potentially cut the number of superintendents from five to one that oversees all the schools. I think if we, you know, we get our school boards to work together, and I have talked to a couple of school board members here locally, they think it's a great idea. Uh, so I'm going to, you know, I'm going to propose both of them, and I think we're going to talk about both the, uh, you know, what, what way would be better to go, and hopefully get one of those uh, on uh, the referendum for November. He says the number of school districts and superintendents leads to higher costs and taxes. They do want the districts to keep their own identity, though. Well, a four-legged celebrity from Vermilion County lost his battle with cancer. Charlie Waggles died last week. He had skin cancer. More important, he had hundreds of Facebook fans in the community and quite the bucket list. His foster owner created both of those to bring awareness to the needs of shelter animals. Before he left us, Charlie crossed quite a few things off that bucket list, like a birthday party, a visit to the beach, and even flew on an airplane. And tonight, a school seven years in the making is finally complete. Middletown Prairie Elementary School in Muhammad opens its doors to parents and guests. They were there today to celebrate. WCIA3's Bailey Bryant was there, and she's here with us now. Bailey, you got to take a tour, so tell us, what's it like inside? It's state-of-the-art with the newest technology and safety measures for students. Most of the project was paid for by the Champaign County School Sales Tax, and parents say that was money well spent. Bridget Sweet and her son Luke are no strangers to Middletown Prairie Elementary School. Luke was in kindergarten here last year and had an amazing experience. And soon he'll be in the school's first class of first graders. To ease some of the butterflies, we wanted to check it out, see where the new room was and check things out. Before this school year, the building housed only pre-K and kindergartners. But now construction is finally done. This completes our building so that our first and second graders are over here now joining our pre-kindergarten and kindergarten students. Officials, parents, and students celebrated the completion with a ribbon cutting and bell ringing. Superintendent Lindsey Hall says the former building was more than 100 years old. Old buildings are beautiful, but they don't provide the support that our students need these days in terms of technology. Or temperature control. Air conditioning is, is we think, essential for an environment to work in and learn in. And so sometimes old buildings just can't support all that. But this new building can Plus, it's state-of-the-art when it comes to protecting students. And so uh, the gymnasium that we're standing in is a FEMA-rated storm shelter. The school also has specialized glass, secure entrances, and an enclosed playground. All things parents like Sweet are happy to hear. It's really nice to see all the tax dollars going to such beautiful work and knowing that my, my son and my daughter are going to have a really wonderful time here. Now, some parts of the building were still closed today, but officials say they'll be up and running in time for school when it starts on Friday. Mark. All right, Bailey, school just around the corner. Thank you. School officials also talked about plans for the future there. And over the next several years, they plan to put in a new tennis court, renovate the field house, and add all weather fields. Also, they plan to redo the junior high. Today was Veterans and Gold Star Families Day at the State Fair. Veterans and their families got in for free. It was also a parade in their honor and a special ceremony to honor the fallen American soldiers from Illinois. An army band played taps as the honor guard paid tribute to the fallen. For one Gold Star mother in particular, it was a somber moment. Those of us whose loved ones' names will be read out might cry, but we're also filled with an overwhelming pride. Most people never even get to meet their heroes. We got to raise ours. We got to love them to be with them every day. Illinois families buried 28,000 soldiers combined in World Wars I and II, Korea and Vietnam. We lost another nearly 300 in Iraq and Afghanistan. Also at the State Fair, Governor Rauner signs a bunch of new bills into law to streamline state services for veterans. One makes it easier for vets to get proof of their service record on their state ID card. Another improves access for homeless veterans to get medical benefits. A third bill, now law, allows veterans of Desert Storm who served in Southeast Asia to get that service medal on their license plate. While he was at it, the governor took to the stump to do some campaigning. 
We now have made it easier for veterans to get jobs inside the government. We've made it easier for veteran uh, entrepreneurs to get contracts with state government. We've helped veterans get better access to health care. And we've lowered the property tax burden on our disabled veterans. And I'm very proud of that. Now, let's bring down the property tax burden. He's in campaign mode there. The governor's signature also designated November 4th as GI Bill of Rights Day. Another new law allows the state to use the National Guard Construction Fund to pay for construction costs. Also on the campaign trail, Democrat J.B. Pritzker hit the road with his running mate Juliana Stratton and Comptroller Susanna Mendoza this weekend. Governor Rauner's rival boarded his big bus tour for a swing through 20 different locations across Illinois. They kicked off early in Chicago, then headed west to Rockford, swinging down through the Quad Cities. They'll make their way to central Illinois soon enough. The candidate plans to arrive in Springfield Thursday for Democrat Day at the State Fair. Former Vice President Joe Biden will speak to Illinois Democrats at a party brunch Thursday morning. Also tonight. I'm here because I am a white person. I don't want to be um, associated with, with the neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and that hate. One year after a deadly neo-Nazi rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, counter-protesters show up in droves to far outnumber a racist rally in our nation's capital. Plus, a group of Native Americans saddle up in search of justice, how they hope to bend President Trump's ear. Live from your local news leader, Ty Bateman, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jack Gerfin and Craig Chowd on Sports. You're watching WCIA 3 News at 10. WCIA 3 News is sponsored by Edelman Electric Plumbing and HVAC. With a lot full of hot deals, check out Ford of Tuscola today. Whether you're looking for new or a quality pre-owned vehicle, Ford of Tuscola has the trucker car you're looking for and a knowledgeable staff to help you get the vehicle you want. Make the short drive to Tuscola and find a great deal on your next car or truck. Helitech has been the leader in unearthing the problem and offering an exact solution for leaky basements and foundation repairs for 30 years. Watch Capital Connection, Sunday mornings at 10.30 on WCIA 3. This is my town. This was my school, left here to rot. A symbol of how Springfield forgets places like this. But we won't be ignored. For five years, we fought for fair funding for our kids, and we won. I'll keep fighting the tough fights because our kids deserve a fair shot too. Thank you for the way you're living large. Thanks for all the little things you're doing. For the way you're living in the moment. For the better. For living life. To the fullest. You're more than just our patients. You're our neighbors. Our friends. And our family. And you are living proof of what happens when care that's deeply rooted in our community comes together. Joining in and world-class medicine. Thank you for being living proof. With a lot full of hot deals, check out Ford of Tuscola today. Whether you're looking for new or a quality pre-owned vehicle, Ford of Tuscola has the trucker car you're looking for and a knowledgeable staff to help you get the vehicle you want. Make the short drive to Tuscola and find a great deal on your next car or truck. On the next CI Living, we're going to be live at the Illinois State Fair. Come by, say hi. We're going to be outside the Illinois building, so come join us at 4. People are winning with the Viewers Club. Sign up today at viewersclub.net. It's absolutely free. This portion of WCIA 3 News is brought to you by Tim's Auto Body. The news continues here on WCIA 3, your local news leader. Emergency responders pulled 27 people from floodwaters in Uvalde County, Texas today. Flash floods and high rapids in the Noasis River trapped visitors in at the Chalk Bluff Park. Air support helicopters had to lift them to safety before anyone suffered injuries. The visitors there are receiving medical attention. The area got hit hard with three inches of rain. Firefighters are still sweeping the area to look for anyone potentially left behind. Three people went to the hospital in Wisconsin after this plane crashed this morning. The Winnebago County Sheriff's Office says a small plane was carrying two adults and one juvenile when it crashed into a cornfield. The aircraft missed the Beloit Airport runway by several hundred yards. Officials say they were heading to the Wisconsin Dells area. 
Authorities say the pilot and the juvenile girl were treated and released. The woman passenger is being treated at a hospital for non-life-threatening injuries. The National Transportation and Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration are investigating. And a boat exploded in north suburban Chicagoland, killing one man and injuring another Saturday. A 67-year-old man was on board in the Wilmette Harbor when it blew up yesterday morning. It was attached to a fueling dock where fire officials said the man's friend was standing there after gassing up. At first glance, investigators suspect an accidental fire started on board. And one year after the deadly white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, neo-Nazi organizers marched on our nation's capital. This time, their numbers paled in comparison to the counter-protesters. Tony DeCopo has the latest on the group that bills itself as Unite the Right. Police escorted a group of white supremacists through a much larger crowd of counter-protesters ahead of the planned Unite the Right rally in Washington, D.C. The white nationalists gathered in Lafayette Square, just across the street from the White House. We're here for the First Amendment, freedom of speech. Violence or oppression. Activist Jason Kessler organized today's demonstration and the event in Charlottesville, Virginia, one year ago that led to the death of counter-protester Heather Heyer. Kessler says there's a lot of anti-white discrimination in this country. White people should have the same treatment as any other groups. We should be able to stand up for ourselves. Counter-protesters gathered early today in D.C. Many say they came out to make a statement that there is no room for bigotry in this country. Well, I'm here because I am a white person. I don't want to be um, associated with, with the neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and that hate. In Charlottesville, there was a massive police presence to keep demonstrators peaceful. We're here! Heather Heyer's mom urged people to fix what she called a huge racial problem in this country. Last year, President Trump did not initially condemn the white nationalists involved in the deadly attack. This year, he condemned all types of racism to mark the anniversary. Tony DeCopel, CBS News, New York. Most of the white supremacists that marched in that rally wore face coverings to conceal their identity. And Jack's here now with a look ahead at the weather coming up. It looks like it's going to be, well, you tell day. us. Yeah, it's a good day. I mean, uh, if you like the weekend, you'll like what we have in store for us on Monday as well, since really not a lot does change. We did top out at 87 today, so it was another one of those bit of a warm, humid day, but it was nice to have all the sunshine. And if you didn't get a chance to go to the State Fair this weekend, if you can take the day off, take the kids over there, it's going to be a nice day tomorrow. Temperature is once again around 87 or so, so a little bit on the warm side, but it is expected to be dry and Sunny. So we've got a sunny Monday, we've got a chance for some showers and storms beginning late Tuesday, and uh, that, could actually, that could actually amount to some higher numbers. We'll let you know all about that coming up after this. Looking for a new place to eat? Log on to IllinoisHomePage.net and click on the Restaurant Row page. You'll find a list of local restaurants and what makes them unique. Please your palate at Restaurant Row on IllinoisHomePage.net. It's hot outside, but the savings are cool at Carter's Hot Summer Sales Event. Special savings now on every item, plus free delivery, free financing, and free layaway. Summer doesn't last. Hurry to Carter's Hot Summer Sales Event going on now at Carter's Furniture Urbana. Bruce Rauner's a failure, so instead of talking about his own record, he distorts mine. When it comes to taxes, Illinois has the most unfair income tax system in America. It's time for that to change. A fair income tax will raise taxes on people like Bruce Rauner and me to support education and help solve the state's budget problem while reducing the burden on the middle class. Don't believe Bruce Rauner's attacks. Let's make our tax system fair and bring real change to Illinois. Hi, I'm Paul Rudy, CEO of Rudy Wealth Management and host of Paul Rudy's On The Money Radio Show. I was delighted when my three sons and son-in-law joined me at Rudy Wealth Management. Now just a few years later, I'm happy to say we've grown well beyond what I could have imagined. Our family is honored to help so many families in our community achieve the best retirement life possible with the money they have. If you would like to live the best retirement life possible with the money you have, call Rudy Wealth or visit RudyWealth.com. Rudy Wealth Management, Central Illinois Retirement Specialist. My world was turned upside down when I wrecked my car. I thought, how am I going to get the kids to school, get to work? I wanted to go somewhere where I knew I would be treated fairly and the repairs would be done right the first time. I took my car to Tim's Auto Body. Tapman is a name I trust. 
and the team at Tim's Auto Body took care of everything from insurance to my rental. When it was done, my car was perfect. Thank you. For collision repair, I go to the best of the best. Tim's Auto Body in Champaign. It's hot outside, but the savings are cool at Carter's Hot Summer Sales Event. Special savings now on every item, plus free delivery, free financing, and free layaway. Summer doesn't last. Hurry to Carter's Hot Summer Sales Event going on now at Carter's Furniture Urbana. I like to be on the front line of, of what's happening, but to be in the know and to not be told what's happening, but to tell people what's happening. Paul Cicchini at 5, 6, and 10 on WCIA 3, your local news leader. And now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jack Kerfin. Well, it's about 1040 at night. Normally, you're seeing me for the second time, but uh, we'll go ahead and start off with your first full forecast. And uh, again, the reason being we had just that magnificent uh, golf tournament. I'll let Craig talk about it more, but we are wearing our Sunday red uh, in honor of uh, in honor of the PGA Championship. Today, though, a nice sunny day. We had temperatures that were in the upper 80s, 87 in Champaign, as well as in Paris, Effingham, Taylorville as well. It was 90 in the capital today and 88 in Pontiac. So overall, though, another very warm, kind of steamy day. But we're still expecting our temperatures overall for the week to be pretty close to normal. It still remains 84 for the week. And so we don't really have anything too high or too low from it. Uh, the coolest that we're going to be will be actually around 80 or so on Wednesday and then again next weekend. The reason being that we're going to be expecting chances for some showers and storms, which you'll see here with Future Track in just a moment. But our temperatures this evening, not too bad. It's 69 in Jacksonville, 76 though in Decatur, 64 in Watsika. So we have a bit of a range of their temperatures. Do expect though to eventually all of us to get down into the lower 60s overnight tonight. So with the clear skies and some slightly lower dew points, that's going to be able to happen, but it is still a pretty muggy evening, so just be aware of that tonight, and it will still be that way, even with our temperatures expected to drop into, like I said, the lower 60s. So Storm Tracker, completely quiet. We didn't have anything today. There was maybe just a couple of cells, and actually there was one picture of a little tiny funnel cloud that came out of a cloud earlier on this afternoon, but uh, it didn't produce anything, obviously, just a couple of cells that were out there. So we're clear. Temperatures will be dropping to around 62 with northeast winds at 2 to 5 miles per hour. Once again, like we've been talking about, the Perseid meteor shower, it peaked last night as well as tonight. So after the newscast, if you want to go out and uh, look, you've got a good chance here. 60 to 70 meteors per hour can be expected during the pre-dawn hours. So probably around 2 to 4 o'clock is going to be even better. Uh, but uh, again, with the clear skies that we do have, like last night, tonight is also good too. So uh, perfect viewing conditions. Look off to the north or so, and you'll see some. I was able to see quite a bit of them last night when I uh, went out and uh, got out of the uh, light pollution that is uh, Champaign-Urbana. So for tomorrow, we've got a lot of sunshine in the morning, and then we also have a lot of sunshine later on in the day in the afternoon. So the commute forecast looking to be just fine here. Just you'll remember, you need to remember to bring your sunglasses, as that's pretty much the only problem with tomorrow. 84 is the expected high, looking good, with northeast winds at about 2 to 5 miles per hour. So like I said, there is going to be a chance for some showers and storms this week. Not going to be tomorrow. And actually, it's not going to be much of Tuesday either. A lot of Tuesday is going to be nice and sunny as well. It's going to be later on in the day that we expect the chance for some showers and storms to begin to move in. Still kind of thinking, like last night, that Wednesday is going to be our uh, rainiest, kind of stormiest day there, and with also with the most cloud cover. And then this system will be departing the area during the first half of our day on Thursday. So we'll at least have uh, the second half of Thursday to be uh, a little bit drier and then Friday or Saturday I should say has another chance for some showers and storms as well but you're noticing for the week we've got areas that could see about a inch and a half to two inches in the purple and then over two inches of rain potentially farther off to our southeastern side of things in this kind of reddish oranges color that we are expecting there to be some heavier rain so uh, I do know that a lot of people have kind of been asking me to talk to mother nature and bring some rain in uh, we've got that in the forecast for us pretty much the evening hours Tuesday to about Thursday early afternoon. Like I said, there's another chance for some storms on Saturday, but uh, in terms of uh, the forecast there, not too bad with our temperatures, pretty comfortable and in fact, uh, very close to normal. It looks like the politicians might get rained on if we're looking at Wednesday and Thursday when all of them are coming to the state fair. 
Yeah, that would be a problem. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about that, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's got it. Wednesday's probably going to be a pretty rainy day. The Republicans are a little bit less lucky than the Democrats who come on Thursday. Very interesting. I guess they've got a little bit of a better forecast. Yeah. Right. We'll keep out the eye for the uh, meteor shower as well. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jack. In our town, Tuscola, city leaders are taking a high-tech approach to history. That's right. The city there will soon launch an interactive map on its website. It will give people a closer look at almost 20 different buildings downtown. They partnered together with the Douglas County Museum for this project. Tuscola debuts this new map during the Our Town event on Friday night. People can take walking tours through the area. We wanted to be able to introduce that platform of the interactive map, but then also take people around and show them what the old businesses were, what the buildings were, and kind of help people gain a little bit deeper appreciation for the buildings that are still there downtown. The tours will run at 5, 6, and 7 p.m. Friday. It's free for museum members and $5 for non-members. You can sign up that day. And we'll be in our town, Tuscola, Friday at the gazebo on Main Street. Our crews will be live during the morning show, CI Living, and our 5 and 6 o'clock newscast. Plus, great things that come out of, um, of, of summer basketball. Illini coach Brad Underwood has his work cut out for him when it comes to recruiting. How new rules could make that job easier. WCIA 3 News is sponsored by Stouts Building Services, your epoxy floor coating specialist. Come out to Our Town Tuscola this Friday and meet Matt Metcalf from WCIA 3's CI Living. Our Town Tuscola this Friday. It's the Ford Summer Sales Event, and now is the best time to buy. You ready for this, Junior? Yeah, I think I can handle it. No pressure. That's just my favorite boat. Boom. <laughs> Make summer go right with Ford, America's best-selling brand. During the Ford Summer Sales Event, find great offers across a huge lineup of Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. Right now, you can get a new F-150 with zero financing for 60 months plus 3,800 bonus cash, or lease for just $1.99 a month. Hurry. In 1913, Dr. Frederick Hoffman made an alarming discovery in a disease not discussed in public. Once cancer carried a stigma of hopelessness, few would speak publicly about fighting it, but Dr. Hoffman did. He called for an organization to educate the public on cancer's early warning signs. Today, you can support the American Cancer Society to save lives and to lead the fight for a world without cancer. This volunteer moment is brought to you by Illini Pella. Uh, I work in an office setting, sitting at a desk for eight to nine hours a day, so uh, back pain is pretty standard for me. Um, but the, the comfort and the friendliness of the staff, um, I see Dr. Regal, and he is my kind of person. I, I'm in the maintenance phase, which is great because I have great pain management at this point. I only have to come in once a month just to make sure everything stays nice and straight. Come to Dr. Robinson's and you'll get a free sucker. You don't realize what a difference they make until you realize what a difference they make. The all-new Ram 1500. Why more people are switching to Ram than ever before. During the Ram Summer Clearance Event, current FCA vehicle owners get $4,500 combined cash allowance plus $1,000 bonus cash on the all-new 2019 Ram 1500. Continues here on WCIA 3, your local news leader. Summer break is almost over for students in central Illinois. No parents can't wait. And a salon in Mount Zion is helping students to look their best before the first day of school. The little salon gave free haircuts for kids. They also gave out free backpacks and school supplies as well. And some cupcakes and cookies for clients as they waited there as well. They say they want to help parents give their kids what they need to start the school year off just right. Every little bit helps, so, you know, having a haircut and some of the school supplies, hopefully most of them we got in there, but having that to help out, it's just, I, I think that's important. I have four kids, and back to school time is expensive. The salon manager says they were completely booked for the day. More than 50 kids from around the area came by to get their hair cut. And a group of Native Americans crossing the country on horseback hung up their saddles in Sedoris tonight. Their trip in support of American Indian activist Leonard Peltier. He's serving life behind bars for the murder of two FBI agents back in 1975. 
But still, Peltier maintains that he's innocent. This group hopes their ride will help inspire President Trump to grant clemency. We believe that the horse can bring a, a message as we cross this land, and we, we like to put it in there as uh, every time the horse's uh, hooves touch the ground, it's sending out a prayer and a message of, of hope and change for a lot of different things, like um, for Mr. Peltier to be released and be able to go home. The group heads to Coleman, Florida. That's where Peltier is in prison. They left more than a week ago from Mankato, Minnesota, where 38 Dakota men were executed in 1862. Up next, Craig is here with sports. Craig, a lot of interesting things happening today. Yeah, we're a couple a uh, couple months away from basketball, but we are going to talk a little basketball. There were some NCAA recruiting changes, so we'll talk to Illini head coach Brad Underwood. Plus, get an update on Illini football camp they had today the off. They've got one full week in the books. We'll tell you how it's going coming up next. Brought to you by Bell Tone Hearing Aid Service in Champaign, Danville, Rantoul, and Watsika. With a lot full of hot deals, check out Ford of Tuscola today. Whether you're looking for new or a quality pre-owned vehicle, Ford of Tuscola has the trucker car you're looking for and a knowledgeable staff to help you get the vehicle you want. Make the short drive to Tuscola and find a great deal on your next car or truck. Mike Madigan just raised your taxes 32% over Bruce Rauner's veto. Now, J.B. Pritzker wants to raise your taxes again. Pritzker and Madigan want to raise taxes on every middle-class Illinoisan and increase tax rates another 26%. The Chicago Tribune says Pritzker's plan will punish Illinoisans, but J.B. Pritzker calls it the central theme of his campaign. J.B. Pritzker and Mike Madigan. Higher taxes, more corruption. Courses, fast cars, lots of stunt drivers. Yeah, must be another Dodge commercial. Dodge, domestic, not domesticated. <laughs> Anything else? No, I'm all set. Hi. Hi. I'll take one of those. <laughs> hey, that's your laugh. <laughs> booyah! That's my booyah. Booyah! Maybe that was supposed to be your ticket. Booyah! Why let someone else scratch your ticket? <laughs> Pick up your Illinois Lottery instant ticket and play today. Boom! Thank you! Judge David Sukup saw abused and neglected children in court and realized they had no voice. He called for volunteers. Court appointed special advocates to be that voice to ensure children didn't get lost in the system, to see them placed in safe, permanent homes. Today, our CASA volunteers are advocates for local children, guiding them to a more hopeful future. This volunteer moment is brought to you by My Box of Central Illinois Mobile Storage. With a lot full of hot deals, check out Ford of Tuscola today. Whether you're looking for new or a quality pre-owned vehicle, Ford of Tuscola has the trucker car you're looking for and a knowledgeable staff to help you get the vehicle you want. Make the short drive to Tuscola and find a great deal on your next car or truck. Congratulations to Jennifer Roscoe and Travis Probst for being recognized by the Illinois Broadcasters Association for the best light feature series, Angels Among Us, from WCIA3, your local news leader. This portion of WCIA 3 News is brought to you by Robinson Chiropractic. From the official television station of Illini Sports, this is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. It's been a rough week for Illinois basketball on the recruiting trail. Priority targets Khalil Whitney and Terrence Shannon Jr. chose Kentucky and DePaul respectively, leaving Illinois with zero commits for the 2019 class. Speaking of recruiting, there are some changes coming to the NCAA. Most notably, more schools are allowed more official visits. A select few of high school athletes can hire agents now, and some can also return to school after they've declared for the NBA draft if they're not selected in the draft. Also, the recruiting calendar has changed. More days in April and less in July. 
I think there's so many great things that come out of, uh, of, of summer basketball. Uh, I think the one thing that we, we, can't, uh, we can't do is just lump everybody into one, uh, one group and say, you know, this is the way it is. Uh, you know, AAU basketball started years ago because it was, it was to help in a cost-effective measure for low to mid-major schools to be able to go to a venue and see multiple kids, and, and I don't think we should lose sight of that. Illinois football and Levy Smith now have two of their own recruiting classes on campus, and it's evident on defense where there is only one senior, and that's a guy Levy brought in from JUCO, which means almost every single player on the Illini defense was recruited by Levy Smith and his staff. Feels good. I mean, we know these players, too, and that's the thing. Even when you first get here, uh, the first year we hadn't gone through a cycle now recruiting starts so much earlier so you know these players each year we know them you know spent more time getting to know them so we're pumped up and again what's good for us as a staff too coming together for the first time is what we thought in most cases has been the case one of those guys is defensive tackle Calvin Avery. He, along with Virtus Brown, are expected to anchor the Illini D-line for years to come. Anise McEwen went to Texas to talk with Avery when he signed with the Illini, and she caught up with him again this week about his young Illini career. Calvin, how's this first couple weeks gone, and, and how do you feel like you're fitting in? I feel like I've been fitting in pretty good. You know, the first couple of weeks have been kind of rough for me, weight-wise, stamina-wise, you know. But I feel like I'm coming along pretty pretty good. Where are you at right now, and how much are you uh, needing to get? I'm at 334.3, exactly. I'm trying to get down at least to 325, you know. I've been working, came in at like 349, so it's, it's been a journey for me. Has the diet been a challenge, too? Have you had to cut some things out, eat smaller portions? You know, I'm not back in Texas no more, so it's no more Whataburger, no more uh, no more golden chicks. So it's been, it been hitting me kind of hard. You know, I can't eat no more fried foods. Uh, Sebastian put me on a salads and fruit diet. Pretty deep roster here on, on the defensive line. Are you getting the reps that you want, and is it pushing you to have so many guys there? You know, it's a lot of guys. That's like really been stepping up over the couple, past couple of days. All these players just fighting for a starting position. You know, I got to fight for my starting position. I see Coach Clark talking to you quite a bit. What's that relationship like, and is he pushing you quite a bit? Coach Clark said he pushes me harder than any other defensive player he's ever coached, and I truly see it. I, I'm tired every practice, and he just wants me to keep going. That's all he screams at me, keep going going and I'd be like coach okay so I keep going and it, it is just like I gotta keep giving more that's all that's all you want out of me it's like my best effort my best he's trying to reach my my full potential so I'm, I'm going for it you know I'm striving Thank you, Anise. Moving from college to high school now, where the Effingham Flaming Hearts are still beating from last year's marquee year. The Hearts went 9-2 and two on the season, winning the Apollo Conference, but falling in the second round of the playoffs. They lost a group of 19 seniors, 15 of which were three-year starters. That group included their All-State running back, Terrence Hill. We've got some returners in some key spots. We've got three offensive linemen back that, that played 11 games last year. Our quarterback's a three-year starter. We've got a couple guys in our secondary that are two- and three-year starters. So uh, we've got some good leadership in some key spots back. I say hungry. Uh, we're looking, a lot of people are looking down on us this year, especially after losing a lot. But um, we're de we definitely have something out to prove and to show that we're a lot better than people expect. Effingham opens the season at home against Breeze Modern Day. After the break, we go under the arch in St. Louis, the final round of the PGA Championship, and one former Illini making some noise in his search for his first major. That's coming up next. We'll be right back. It's Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. Featuring Nissan's latest available tech. Get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. 
At Osling & Associates, we handle bankruptcy and only bankruptcy. When you need help, call Osling & Associates. There is only a $700 fee for single filing Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Bankruptcy questions? Visit our website at bcyhelp.com. An emergency bankruptcy can stop foreclosures, judgments, repossessions, utility shutoffs, and court proceedings. Call Osling & Associates with 20 Illinois offices to serve you. Call Osling & Associates now and stop the collection calls. It's always home improvement season, and Rental City has what you need to get the job done right, from chairs to mini skids. Whether it's a once a season or once in a lifetime job, head to Rental City to get the tools and advice to get the job done right. Rental City Champagne. WCIA3 and Jackus Lab Construction salute the volunteers and supporters of Make a Wish. Every year, they grant wishes for children battling life threatening medical conditions. Please support them and help make wishes come true for children in central Illinois. It's Nissan's bottom line model year end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. Like Titan, backed by America's best truck warranty. Get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. It's been a tough year for former Illini Thomas Peters. After breaking out at the 2016 Ryder Cup and following that up with an impressive 2017 campaign, the Belgian hasn't been the same due to some injuries, but he's looking a lot better lately, and that includes this weekend at the PGA Championship in St. Louis. Peters entering the day in the top 15, starting his day off right from the very first hole. He's right in the middle of the fairway, and he hits the pin on his approach. He was six shots back to start the day. That shot left him about 10 feet for birdie. And the former Illini, thanks to some coaching from Mike Small, knocks it in to move to seven under to start his day. Moving to the 11th hole now from just off the green. He takes the pin out, uses the wedge. Great choice. No putter needed when you can do that. He dropped to nine under. On the 15th, another chance for birdie. Perfect read, perfect speed for the Belgian. He was down to 10 under. He also birdied 16 to move to 12 under, but with double bogey 17 and par 18 to finish at 10 under for the tournament. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, it's just nice to contend. You know, I had a feeling like I could, I could win this, you know, if I post something nice and uh, I haven't had that feeling in any tournament. And it's nice to do it here, obviously. Um, so, yeah. I think I got in, in a good run of form about two years ago around this time, so we'll see. To the rest of the field now, Brooks, Brooks Kepka, the leader, entering the day, but Tiger was lurking in the weeds and looking good in that red and black. We start with Eldrick on the ninth. The birdie putt moved him to 11 under after his front nine. And he was just getting started. Here he is lining up another birdie on the 13th. When he raises the putter, you know it's going in. He birdied on 13 to move him to 13. Then to the 18th. At this point, he's unlikely to win it. But this putt drops, and he gives the fist pump. He moved at 14 under and closing in on second. To the leader now, Kepka, 14 under on the 15th. He sinks the little breaker to move to 15 under. Next hole, 248 yard par three. He sticks it close, sinks the birdie putt to pull away. He would go on to raise the Wanamaker trophy for the first time in his career. He also won the US Open back in June. Only, only the fifth player to win them both in the same year. Here's a look at the final leaderboard. Kepka, two shots better than Tiger, who finishes all alone in second at 14 under. Kepka's 264 is the lowest score at the PGA Championship since 2001. Adam Scott's third, two, Stuart Skink, John Rahm fourth. And there's the former Illini Peters, finishes in a tie for sixth, his best finish at a major since 2017. Staying in Missouri in Kansas City, the Cardinals trying to sweep the Royals' top seven. The new guy, Patrick Wisdom, with the bases loaded, brings in the tying run with a single to right center. His family's pumped. His first career RBI, 2-2 ball game. Still in the seventh, bases loaded. Yadier Molina brings in two to give the Birds a 4-2 lead. They blow it open from there. Paul DeYoung homers in the ninth to extend an already big lead. Cardinals sweep Kansas City 8-2 the final 
this afternoon. Back here in Illinois, White Sox and Indians, we have all White Sox highlights just for Mark Maxwell. Mm. They're down 9-1 in the eighth when Adam Engel homers to cut it to 9-2. Then, still in the eighth, Yolmer Sanchez follows suit to make it 9-3. There was a sliver of hope on the south side as we go to the ninth. Tim Anderson singles in another run to make it 9-4. They get it to 9-7 in the ninth but can't get it any closer. That is your final. The Indians hang on to win a close one. And the play of the day just happened about an hour ago. Cubs and Nationals Sunday night baseball. We go right to the ninth. Base is loaded for David Bode. He's filling in for Chris Bryant while Bryant's injured. He does his best KB impression with a walk-off grand slam. Bill Murray loving it. The Cubs win it. Four to three. Just a great weekend for most of us sports fans. The PGA Championship was absolutely fantastic. The Cardinals get a sweep. The Cubs get a walk-off. The White Sox, the future is bright for the oh, White Sox. It's a little bit of electricity. Yeah, there's some buzz with the White Sox right now. You know that old saying, if you ain't first, you're last? Yeah. I don't think Tiger Woods believed in that today. He no, was feeling really good about that second fire. place finish. It was finish. so much fun to watch. I went there Friday. It was a great atmosphere this weekend. All the players really loved playing in St. Louis. The fans treated them really well. So it was nice to see uh, St. Louis in the spotlight. It really was. Craig, thanks so much. Well, we uh, still to come tonight. Family, we talk about her grandkids and my grandkids and um, on the days that she doesn't feel well I worry about her. What started as a ride to and from doctor's appointments blossomed into a lifelong friendship. See how a local family is making a difference for seniors in central Illinois. WCIA 3 News is brought to you by East Central Illinois Service Group. Are you ready to sell your home? Our experienced agents at Classic Homes Realty are ready to list your house and sell it fast. The process can be quick, fun, and easy at Classic Homes Realty. We hold the key. Give us a call today so we can guide the way and get your house sold. It's the Ford Summer Sales Event, and now is the best time to buy. You ready for this, Junior? Yeah, I think I can handle it. No pressure. That's just my favorite boat. Boom. <laughs> Make summer go right with Ford, America's best-selling brand. During the Ford Summer Sales Event, find great offers across a huge lineup of Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. Right now, you can get a new F-150 with zero financing for 60 months plus 3,800 bonus cash or lease for just $199 a month. Hurry! Isn't it about time you got the best sleep of your life? Then come discover the power of Tempur-Pedic sleep at Denver Mattress. With Tempur-Pedic's pressure-relieving comfort, you'll fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer, and wake up feeling refreshed. And right now, get a gift certificate for up to $300, along with six years no interest and free delivery. Get the best sleep of your life today at Denver Mattress, your Tempur-Pedic elite retailer. What a difference they make until you realize what a difference they make. The all-new Ram 1500. Why more people are switching to Ram than ever before. During the Ram Summer Clearance Event, current FCA vehicle owners get $4,500 combined cash allowance plus $1,000 bonus cash on the all-new 2019 Ram 1500. Looking for your dream home? Call one of our many experienced agents at Classic Homes Realty to help you find the perfect house for you. Visit our property listings at danvilleclassichomes.com. We hold the key. Give us a call today. Summer's here. It's time to hit the road. Join us for a statewide road trip to amazing family destinations just a tank of gas away. This week, we cruise the mighty Mississippi on the Celebration Bell. Destination Illinois, Thursday night at 6 on WCIA 3. Sometimes you just don't want to leave the house. With Meyer Home Delivery, we come to you. So no matter what, you can Meyer any way you want. It's the summer of Jeep. Time to get out there in the most awarded and best selling SUV lineup. With legendary capability. Mike said, almost at this point. And the ultimate in-car experience. Who knows where the adventure will take you. Connect with great deals on the official vehicles of summer. Get 3,000 cash allowance or well-qualified lessees. Get this low mileage lease on the 2019 Jeep Cherokee Latitude Plus front-wheel drive. 
Invisible. Invasive. Underestimated. Nematodes are stealing over 10% of yields, and current protection methods aren't enough. But a breakthrough seed treatment technology controls nematodes when they attack. Now offering Nemastrike technology. It provides broad spectrum control from the start and stays in the root zone as plants grow. Take back your bushels with Nema Strike technology. Strike where nematodes attack. It's time to hit the links with the 2018 Golf Tour Extravaganza card. Make the most of your golf outings this year and get 22 courses at a new low price of $89.99. Go to IllinoisHomePage.net and get your Golf Tour Extravaganza card today. Sometimes I need to work. Bye, Mike. Sometimes I'd rather work out. With Meyer Home Delivery, we come to you so you can do what you want to do and Meyer any way you want. The news continues here on WCIA 3, your local news leader. A big difference. Otherwise, I'd be scuffling trying to get away to Dallas. A drive to the doctor or to the grocery store may be something some take for granted, but for many seniors, it can be a big challenge. A program in Champaign County is working to address that issue, but they need more volunteers to keep up with a growing demand. Ryan Burke followed along on a senior transport ride to see how that program makes a big difference. Are we in and off? Ready to go? Evelyn Lee is heading off on an important mission with her son Justin in the back seat. They're rolling out, going to help a friend. It's what you do. If we don't take care of each other, what kind of world are we going to live in? Today, they're picking up Miss Harvey, who's on her way to a dialysis appointment. You want the step stool now? It makes a difficult time a little easier. Oh, you're funny. A big difference. Otherwise, I'd be scuffling trying to get away to dialysis. Are you in? Oh, man. Cool beans. The reason I do it is because my mother lives in Florida and she has someone who helps take care of her. I can't be there to do that, so I want to return the favor, you know, and it's just fun to do and it's great to get to know people and Justin loves it. He gets up and he knows on Tuesday and Thursday we go, who do we get? Miss Harvey. Mm -hmm. We go pick up Miss Harvey and yeah, he gets, he, he prods me along. They got the test yesterday. Guess what? They're having a boy. As they head out, the conversation begins, and so do the smiles and laughs. The program is about more than just getting seniors from point A to point B. It's about fostering conversation and friendship that happens along the route. They are good people, and I love Evelyn and Jason. They're very good. And as they arrive at the appointment, they can leave it? knowing they've made a difference for each other. All right. Through service. I'll see you Tuesday. All right. Yeah. And most importantly, through friendship. Well, if you're interested in volunteering with the Senior Transportation Program, or if you're interested in getting a ride, you can call the number right there on your screen. We'll have more information at CILiving.tv. And if you'd like to see more of Ryan's stories, be sure to watch CI Living weekdays at 4, right here on WCIA 3. We'll be right back. Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. Featuring Nissan's latest available tech. Get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. I am the new Reese's Outrageous Blizzard only at DQ. And I live up to my name. I am Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Reese's Pieces Candies. <laughs> It's two kinds of Reese's in one blizzard. Plus, brace yourselves, caramel. <laughs> Outrageous! <laughs> this is an outrage! Who's behind this? Does DQ know about this? Psst. Of course we do. Because I'm not fast food. I am fan food. As concrete settles, it can cause real problems for you and your home. Replacing it means days of work, a huge mess, and an expensive bill. Helitex Mud Jacking System can level your sidewalks in a couple of hours and save you up to 75% compared to replacement. Helitex environmentally friendly process is quick, painless, and it's ready to use immediately. They healed my home. They'll heal yours too. Helitex. Heal your home with Helitex. 
It's Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. Like Titan, backed by America's best truck warranty. Get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. Here's your last look at the seven-day forecast. If you liked Saturday, you liked today. And if you liked today, you'll like tomorrow. 84 with a lot of sunshine. And a lot of Tuesday is good, too. But chance for some showers and storms come in late Tuesday into Wednesday, tapering off by the, by the first half of Thursday. And after that, another chance for some storms on Saturday. And that Friday gives us uh, something to look forward to to end our week. That's right. It looks like a nice day. Uh, it's also our town as well. So that's going to be a good day for the crew that will be going out there. But, uh, yeah, yeah, good forecast overall. All right, thanks for pulling that forecast off for us. No problem. Thanks for staying up with us. Have a good night and a great week.